it's been consistently established that no good news regarding to the finances of Disney has come out in recent times. It's just been failure after failure after failure and just losing more and more and more money over the years that they've gone woke. You know, they've always kind of subtly pushed that in there, but ever since going fully open about it, they've been having a lot of financial problems. 2022 was kind of the breaking point and 2023 has not been any better. And it's gotten so bad that not only are they having to sell their, some of their, considering selling some of their assets, but it's causing these high levels of anxiety. And now the Disney CEO is having to do this damage control and, and actually calming the high levels of anxiety among Disney employees over the potential sale of assets. It's gotten that bad for them. It says in the article in CNN, Bob Iger, Bob Iger moved to calm Disney staff after sparking high anxiety over potential sale of TV assets. I mean, they're pretty much at a point where they're just digging through the, ca the, the couch cushion and just dumping out every bag, like just trying to find any kind of way to make money, if, you know, like that they can because they've been failing that badly. It says in the article, Bob Iger is seeking to reassure the anxious arm of Disney business. Uh, in an off-site meeting on Tuesday, the Disney chief executive spoke to senior leaders of the company's television business. CNN has learned the meeting came just days after Iger, decided, uh, Iger made decidedly candid remarks to CNBC's David Faber in which he said Disney's linear business may not be the core to the entertainment giant, a comment that immediately sent shockwaves through the industry. The admission to Faber naturally set off alarm bells inside Disney General Entertainment content, the division of the Magic Kingdom that houses its linear business and operates the quintessential broadcasting cable networks such as ABC, the Disney Channel, National Geographic, and FX. Yeah, I mean, when you're having to basically turn your Disney empire into an IP yard sale, <laughs> yeah, you know you're not doing all that great. It says in the article, employees in the sizable division, which uh, there are thousands and thousands of employees who work for uh, DGEC, have been experiencing high anxiety, sources noted to me, with them adding that Iger had effectively let staff in the dark by not communicating directly with them since a stunning interview. There's been no company-wide memos, no town halls, nothing but silence since Iger jolted the organization with the news. The chief executive on Tuesday uh, sought to quell some of his unease, some, some of this unease as he fielded questions submitted by senior company leaders assembled at uh, the off-site meeting. He told the personnel gathered that the content created by the company's division production teams is incredibly valuable to our business, according to a person with knowledge of his remarks. Um, that wasn't what he said in the interview, but you see, he's like a politician, just, you know, having to do damage control. Which is ironic, because Bob Iger apparently wanted to run for president. <laughs> That's uh, very interesting. It says in the article, and Iger uh, talked up the importance of ABC News. I am, I am uh, ridiculously passionate about news, Iger said. According to the person familiar with the comments, it's important to this company. We need to figure. It's important to this company. We need to figure out how it makes the transition into streaming. And I happen to believe we will endure. It's too good. It's too important, and it's really fun. So I guess that's why you're having to think about selling it then. <laughs> Uh, of course, these comments were unlikely to entirely calm the rattled nerves of those working in Disney's television businesses. While Iger did not explicitly tell Haber what he, what he, that he wanted to sell the linear stations and networks, he effectively put that sector of the business on the market uh, with his comments. And to be honest, with the financial flops and failure and just, just losing more money than they're making, it could be a very well possibility in the near future they are going to have to sell some of the some of their assets that they um, spent years buying up because a lot of these assets they just bought up when Iger uh, was you know when he before he stepped down temporarily then became you know came back as a CEO but you know when you're that desperate it just shows you're failing there, there's just no way to deny it I mean it's been very evident ever since they came out and tried to basically start a war with the state of Florida but now it's just like they have just nothing good. No good news has come from this. Like, like when it comes to Disney finances, they get the kind of money Disney make. Disney makes no good news has come. It's like all been bad. You know, like you'll have some successes here and there, but it's it's kind of the oddball out of the bunch, because every like most of the stuff they've come out with has failed at the box office. The theme park attendance is declining, which the theme parks have always been the last line of defense in terms of making money. Uh, they've had to lay off thousands of employees and even that doesn't seem to be helping. So it's like they're losing on all fronts. <laughs> you know, that's just the reality of the phrase, go woke, go broke. It's not just a phrase, it's the blunt reality. Because, oh, it's the, the, the pandemic or this or that or whatever else. No, keep politics out of entertainment and you wouldn't have these kind of issues. So anyway, just it's uh, crazy to think that, well, not really crazy, but like it's 
more just a logical logical conclusion this was only a matter of time but you know it's crazy to think that they had this mentality of over oh, too big to fail well this has been a very humbling experience for them uh and they're reaping what they sow so anyway may the grace of our lord jesus christ be with all the brethren goodbye <laughs>